Just a big, uh, like a crash, Sam. Those who heard the crash then saw it feared the worst. And everybody running around the back door. We thought it was kids on there. A former school bus into a gas station. There weren't any kids on board, but there were people training to drive a school bus one day. It crashed into a gas station's office space. I was supposed to be in my office and I was a little bit late. I was busy on other stations. So that was good luck to me. Kuda Box has owned the station since 2009. While he had to temporarily close it while the building was being inspected, he was able to open it again just a few hours later. Nobody was hurt in the, in the bus and uh, they all are safe as well. Police say there were eight people on board the bus. Two were transported for evaluation. Everyone's expected to be okay. They're a part of the HOPE Project, an organization that provides CDL and computer IT training. Part of the program's mission is to make lives better through job training and placement, making this crash that much more unfortunate. And no one injured inside. I mean, that is amazing. God has been very kind. As you can see, they have removed the bus from the building. It's left a huge hole here in this office space. I talked with the executive director of the program, was training these folks to get their CDLs. He says that in 20 years of having this program, nothing like this has happened before. They are investigating to find out what caused this crash. In Forestville, I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4. The Prince George's County school system confirmed that the trainees were not actively training for placement in its system. It's not clear if they were training for any particular school system. Pat? New 